Cody, do you require assistance searching for something? Nope. Got it right here, see? Why are you saving that? Those things grow on trees, you know. It's not just any leaf, Heatwave. It's a gift Uncle Woodrow gave Dad a while ago. It says, Happy Brother's Day and Beetle Spit. See? I'll, I'll take your word for it. Found it, Dad. Thanks, Cody. Uh, good thing we have Uncle Woodrow's satellite number. Who knows where he's adventuring now? Somewhere they serve bugs for lunch is a good guess. Did his last letter say something about the jungle? Happy Brother's Day, Woody. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you remembered. Oh, is that the leaf I sent you from the lowlands of Dagobar? I can't believe you kept that. Of course, Woody. Every time I see Beetle Spit, I think of you. <laughs> it really means a lot, big brother. Hey, kids, did I ever tell you about... Hey, get out of here. Shoot! Woody, what's going on? <laughs> Woodrow! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's a little homework in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Fighters who make robots in disguise. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. Humans in need, a heroes in need. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. He's not picking up. Oh, what kind of trouble did you get yourself into now, Woody? And how can we help him out of it if we don't know where he is? I might be able to find out. The call should have a GPS stamp. Huh? It looks like he's in the middle of a Rwandan gorilla preserve? So, Uncle Woodrow was attacked by a bunch of angry apes? Wouldn't be the first time. And it won't be the last if I can help it. Chief, as your partner in all things rescue and table tennis, I will gladly back you up on this mission. I appreciate it, Chase, but to get to Africa, I'll need bots who can travel by sea and air. Heatwave? No need to even ask. We'll help you find your brother. Hope you're caught up in all your TV blades, because we have a long flight ahead of us. Are you kidding? I can't wait to see Africa! Cute lion cubs who sing. Oh, and really funny hyenas. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't get my hopes up about the singing. Now, communication in the jungle will be iffy. I'm counting on you five to watch over things. We got it covered, Dad. And by we, I mean me. Really? Again? Soda can. Picking up beach litter is still better than doing Cade's laundry. Poor Graham. I've never seen the tide this low. And there's a bottle jammed under that rock. Whoa. This looks like it's been here for centuries. And it sounds like there's something inside. A treasure map? I don't think so. But whatever it is, it's old. I, King Charles of England, in light of noble and heroic service from our loyal subject, Horace Burns... Your ancestor? The town founder whose precarious statue stands in the square? I guess so. And the King of England said he was noble. Do hereby declare by royal charter that the, the Isle of Griffin Rock shall henceforth be a protectorate of the crown, and in accordance with English law and tradition, shall be ruled by King Horace I and his heirs until the end of time. Whoa! That means... Graham, you had one job. What's that? It's a charter that says Griffin Rock is a royal kingdom. And Chief Burns is his king. No, wait, 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 wait. Seriously? Oh, okay then. I'm in charge while Dad's gone, so that makes me king. Kate, if Griffin Rock were its own country, we'd have heard about it in history class. We don't even know if this charter is real. I'll run some tests on the age of the paper and ink. In the meantime, we can assume it is a binding legal document. Therefore, we must inform the mayor and the town. I'll tell them. After all, they are my subjects. All right, Blades. Time to pick up the pace. I'm finally in Africa! So when do we see the dancing animals? <laughs> I'm not, I'm being serious. We're nearing Woodrow's last coordinates. Blade, set us down in that clearing up ahead.
We'll go the rest of the way on foot. Keep an eye out, everyone. The GPS is directing us this way. King Cade? Yeah, but, but where does that leave me? You need a new job. Of course, I could use a royal assistant. How does Prime Minister Lusky sound? Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like I'd better start planning a coronation ceremony for our new king. <laughs> Whoa, it's worse than I thought. Well, that explains why he didn't call back. What could have done this? Those footprints definitely aren't human. Do you think whatever did this is still here, watching us? There! Ah! Boot prints. Woody must have escaped this way. Look. Oh, maybe he's still nearby. Hold on, Heatwave. He's not being aggressive. Yet. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. What's he doing? Giving Dad a noogie? <laughs> Just like I taught him. Uncle Woodrow! The Burns family, I presume? <laughs> what a nice surprise! Woody, did you uh, teach him this too? No, no. Grooming is a natural gorilla behavior. That means they like you. You should be flattered, Charlie. Oh, I am. But maybe you can get him to stop flattering me now? <laughs> Stanley! <laughs> I told him you're my family, so he wants to show you his. Come on! I don't get it. If these gorillas like you, why'd they attack? What? Is that why you came? You thought I needed rescuing from these gentle giants? No, it was baboons who trashed my camp. They're much more aggressive. But thanks for coming such a long way, everybody. <laughs> I'm touched. Can we give you a ride back home? It's tempting, Danny, but my work here isn't finished. <laughs> I came to study the gorillas, and they sort of adopted me. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bing um? I've even started to learn their language, a whole system of grunts and gestures. Uh, uh, no thanks, Stanley, I'm full. But maybe our guests. Ew. No thanks. I'm trying to quit. I don't eat. Earthquake. Volcano. That one's almost ready to erupt. Uh, another reason I can't leave. I have to lead these gorillas to a safer nesting spot. Chief, can we stay and help? We came this far. Might as well visit. If it's all right, Woody. All right? It's perfect! My two families together. Hot dog! Coronation Day in Griffin Rock, the world's newest monarchy. And everyone is in the spirit. Royal souvenirs, we got them. Scones, clotted cream, and don't forget a traditional kappa. Oh, I miss my coffee. As Prime Minister, and in the absence of his father, the King, I hereby crown Prince Cade Burns as Regent and Royal Highness. Yeah, temporaneous. Miss Maple Syrup? It's just for now. A real crown's on its way. Two business days. It audibly appears your new subjects wish to greet you. I give you King 
how sorry I am for finding that charter. Boulder, you don't have to keep apologizing. It's not your fault. I know. But if I can prove that paper's fake, I'll feel better about it. If you need me, I'll be at the library doing research. Thank you. Thank you. I deserve it. <laughs> it's so good to be the... God, whoa, whoa. Chase, what are you doing? Anointing your head with oil. An ancient English tradition. <laughs> Why do I smell like french fries? The oil is from a local diner. It was going to be recycled, but I told them the kink needed it. Yeah. Actually, it's not too bad. Salty. I hope Haley likes it. How is she handling all this? Oh, 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 little bro. Are you kidding? I've gone from Prince Charming to King Charming. Ooh, and I know just where to take her tonight. Prime Minister? Yes, Your Highness? My first act as king is to declare this humongado week at the drive-in. Make it so. Your Majesty, according to the book Monarchy for the Uninformed, a king's body must be guarded at all times. I will happily perform that duty. Uh, all right, just don't marsh my mallow. I would not think of it, even if I knew what that was. Man, I'm glad I'm not king. Uh, Prime Minister Lusky, you can stand up now. No, I can't. My back went out. perpetrated this brazen assault on your royal self. Haley, out of the blue, she just, just dumped me. You must have done something. She said she doesn't believe in a ruling class. So I told her she didn't have to call me King Cade, that your majesty would be fine. And then boom, that was it. I think you're lucky it was just popcorn. Treasonous, shall I apprehend her, your majesty? Ah, forget it. I've had it. I am done being king. Here you go, bro. I hereby, blah 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 royal successor, you. Maybe I can still talk some sense into Haley. Haley! Your most recent majesty, I live to serve. I gotta admit, Woody, it sure is impressive how they follow you. Well, it takes a long time to build up their trust, but they know I'll keep them safe. Them. Wait, wait, wait. It's only a show of territorial dominance. You just stay calm, they'll... Look, the baby! <laughs> wait, I need a hand. Yeah, you better run. And maybe sing. Well, uh, you're welcome. You don't understand, Charlie. Stanley is making you the leader of his band. What? Uh, but I didn't do anything. I just... <laughs> he says the big men, he means the bots, follow your command. And now the gorillas will too. Do you know how amazing that is? It took me months to gain their trust. But I don't... I mean, I, I can't. Woody, you're the one who's... Wait! You're going the wrong way. That's where the lava's heading. We have to get the gorillas up to high ground before the lava reaches them. Wait, Woody. You'll be able to find them faster from the air. Go with Danny and Blades. Heatwave and I'll do what we can to buy you more time.
Danny, you and Woody get a visual on the gorillas yet? Still looking, Dad. The smoke's making it hard to see. Down there, something's moving. Charlie, the gorillas are right next to you. Tell Stanley to move the band to safety. Will do, Woody. I hope this works. Don't go that way. This way. a new problem. Next on your schedule, sire, uh, your subjects and their petitions. Wait, all these people are here because they have problems? And they want you to solve them. Isn't being king wonderful? <laughs> Your Majesty, Milo's incessant drumming is ruining my baking. Oh, oh, I see how it is. You blame your bad cooking on my art. Boom, boom, boom is not art. To put down your mixing spoon and listen to this, uh, huh? Listen, <laughs> this is art. Hey! My, uh, royal decree is that you take turns drumming and baking. You call yourself a king? That's a terrible idea. I beg a boon, my liege. Wilt thou knight me? Back off, Huxley. We were here first. It's Sir Huxley, peasant. You are interrupting my drumming. Oh, really? And I don't think you can the Sorry, Cody. I can't do this. You mind being king for a while? Chase, let me use your PA. Hear me, people of Griffin Rock. Kingdom or not, we all still have to follow the law and get along. Milo, can't you play your drums somewhere besides the bakery? Yeah, well, sure. I just thought Mr. Fife liked it, you know? Oh, and I do, but not while I'm baking. Maybe just during lunch? Hmm, hey, this is actually good stuff. Mr. Prescott, how would you like to be official royal newscaster? This just in. Big yes! Maybe that charter was right, Cody. You were born for this. Woody, I need your help. Your gorillas don't understand me. It's a tricky dialect. Blades, can you land us down there? No, the jungle's too dense. I have an idea. First thing we have to do is calm these guys down or they won't listen. Now let's pick some nits. At a time like this? Especially at a time like this. Hurry. I don't know how long I can hold back the flames. Hope they're calm enough now. Everyone, go this way. Even in the middle of Africa, you outdo me, Charlie. I gotta admit, I'm a little jealous. Oh, they only like me because I have more silver in my hair than you. No, Charlie. Some leaders are born, others are made. You're a natural, and they know it. <laughs> I may be chief back in Griffin Rock, but this job is not for me. You see? He's the one you should be listening to, my little brother. He's the smart one. <laughs> Thanks, Stanley. And you too, Charlie. Best brother's day ever. Can I please move now? My back really itches. 
poor kid. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> I can hear you, you know. What does all this have to do with being a leader anyway? Stop painting. Stop everything. Cody isn't king. Police bot, remove him. He's interrupting a royal occasion. Actually, I'm not. I found this in the main archives. It's the royal resignation of King Horus the first and last. Horus was offered kingship, but he turned it down. He wanted the people of Griffin Rock to rule themselves. But why didn't he just burn the charter? Guess keeping gifts in jars is a family tradition. You're back! Missed you guys! Welcome home! Did you find Woodrow? What happened? Hey guys! Uncle Woodrow is fine. He sends his love. Did we miss anything here? Delivery for King Burns. Who wants to sign? Not much happened here, Dad. I mean, your majesty? <laughs> <laughs>